Hello boys and girls, happy Friday. So today we will be finishing up with our indefinite pronouns. So today we will identify the correct indefinite pronouns in a sentence and we will revise a sentence. So when we're revising a sentence, we are checking for mistakes in that sentence. So we are going to check for mistakes. It's almost like you guys are gonna be the teacher. So we will do this by revising sentences and choosing the indefinite pronoun. This is important so we can become better writers. So before we get started, let's just review what we've learned this week. Indefinite pronouns, everyone, everyone needs friends. Everybody. Everybody needs someone to love. Everything. Everything about you is amazing. Everywhere. I have been everywhere. Someone. Someone took a cookie from the jar. Somebody. Somebody took a cookie from the cookie jar. Something. There is something fishy going on. Somewhere. Somewhere over the rainbow. All right, so an indefinite pronoun is a way to talk about many people or things without having to name each one. The food, plates, and blanket are in the picnic basket. So instead of saying food, plates, and blanket, we can say everything is in the picnic basket. Indefinite pronouns. Anyone, everyone, someone, neither, and nobody. Oops. Nothing, none, something, and everything are also all indefinite pronouns. Indefinite pronouns are special pronouns. They stand for people or things that are not named. They do not stand for exact or definite persons or things. Indefinite pronouns are singular. So this is singular. So we use a singular verb form with an indefinite pronoun. So our verb is going to have a, s a singular S on the end. So we don't use indefinite pronouns for the names of people or things. So we just, instead of saying she didn't want Luke to get hurt, we're talking about exactly Luke. But in this sentence, we're not since we're using an indefinite pronoun. She didn't want anyone to get hurt. So that wouldn't be just Luke. That would be anyone in the whole class. Anyone. All right, so let's practice some of these before we go check out some sentences. Everyone seems to be happy but me. Put on those attentoscopes. Do you see the indefinite pronoun? Everyone. Good job. Number two. Does anyone here speak Spanish? Tentoscopes, do you see the indefinite pronoun? I end with one thing, body, where? Anyone, awesome job. Tap your head if you got that. And number three, I would like to go somewhere this summer. Mm, do you see that one? Somewhere, awesome. All right, so on your own, I'm gonna need you to get out your journal and complete this assignment with me and then try one on your own. So I'm gonna meet you back here with my open journal and hopefully you'll have a pencil ready to go. All right, so I have my journal and my pencil. So I'm gonna go ahead and find a new page after all my used pages. And I'm gonna go ahead and write my date up at the top. So three or March. 11 dash 2021. All right, and I'm going to put a number one. And now we have to check and look at some of these sentences, okay? So we have 
we need to correct the sentence below and circle the indefinite pronoun. So we have to look at number one. My dog loves everyone. So we need to go through this and look. Does this sentence have capitalization? So let's look at the beginning of the sentence. Does it have capitalization? No, it doesn't. So we need to make sure we make that M big when we write it. So let's go ahead and write the word my together and let's write it the correct way. All right, so we want that capitalization, which we don't have. So we're gonna do a big M right here. So M, Y, space, dog, D, A, G. All right, so does anything else need capitalization? Let's see. My dog loves everyone. Hmm, are there any names in there? Any specific places, people, or things? No, there's no proper nouns. So we're good with just our one capitalization. Let's check out our U. Does the sentence make sense? My dog loves everyone. Yes, it does. So that's a good sentence. We can leave that. Punctuation. Does it have a period, a question mark, or a uh, exclamation point? My dog loves everyone <gasps> they are missing something so we could put either a exclamation point or a period it's up to you so let's go ahead and finish writing our sentence we can check our s when we're done writing so my dog loves o o v e S. And I think I might run out of room over here for everyone because it's a pretty long word. So I'm going to go underneath, all right? So here we go with everyone. E, V, E, R, Y, O, N, E. All right, and don't forget, they're missing that punctuation that we just checked over here. So we need to make sure that we put punctuation. So we can either put a period, my dog loves everyone, or we can put an exclamation point and make the sentence say, my dog loves everyone. My dog does love everyone. So I am going to put an exclamation point because I am just so excited about the sentence. Okay, so now I'm gonna put a number two and you're going to do the exact same thing as I just did, but you're going to try it by yourself. So let's look at the sentence. Number two, there is a surprise somewhere. All right, so you need to check the capitalization. Is there a capital letter at the beginning of the sentence? Are there any proper nouns that name someone's name or place or thing? Understanding, does the sentence make sense? There is a surprise somewhere. Mm. Punctuation, is there punctuation where there should be? If not, you need to add it. Spelling and spaces. Since the sentence is right here on the screen, you shouldn't spell it wrong. You should be able to spell every single word correctly since you just have to copy it down. You also need to check your spaces. Make sure you use your finger spaces like Miss Moore did when she wrote her sentence. It's very important to be able to see each space in between your word. All right, and when you finish doing number two and checking your capitalization, understanding, punctuation, and spelling just like Miss Moore did, it is time for our picks, please. Take a picture and upload to Google Classroom. Today we finish with our indefinite pronouns. We have our words that end with where, thing, one, and body. We can start with some, every, and then we have some friends that don't really match, like none, nothing, nowhere, and even more, neither, even more that just don't go together. All right, so when you're all done, make sure you take that photo and I'll see you guys next week. Have a good weekend.